Evaporation and Condensation 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 is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water. The water which collects as droplets on a cold surface when humid air is in contact with it. You have seen it everywhere. In other words, the water in the air is a gas known as water vapor. Condensation is the transformation of water vapor into liquid water. This is the opposite of evaporation. Evaporation is when a gas turns into liquid and heat energy is lost in this process. An example of this can be the water droplets on the surface of a glass full of ice cold water. When water vapor formed from evaporation comes in contact with the cold surface, it loses energy and gets converted into water. Evaporate. Evaporate means to cause a liquid to change to a gas, especially by heating. Evaporation. Evaporation can generally be defined as a process by which a liquid is transformed into vapor. Evaporation is a form of vaporization that usually happens on the surface of liquids and it involves the transition of the liquid particles into the gaseous phase. That is why this process is said to involve a change in the state of matter of liquids. Precipitation Precipitation is water released from clouds in the form of rain, freezing rain, sleet, snow or hail. Precipitation is the main way atmospheric water returns to the surface of the earth. Most of the precipitation falls as rain. In science, precipitation is the process behind the condensation of water vapor in the atmosphere that falls down under the influence of gravity. Rain and snow are the results of these phenomena. The water cycle. There are four major steps in the water cycle. The first one is evaporation of water, then condensation, then precipitation, and lastly, collection. Water cycle. The water cycle is a biogeochemical cycle that involves the continuous movement of water on, above, and below the surface of the earth. The sun evaporates water and contributes to the formation of water vapor. These water vapors accumulate in the atmosphere as clouds. The vapors condense into water droplets and when enough droplets come together, it falls out of the clouds as rain or snow. Getting started. You will need a glass of water and paper towel. Dip your finger into the water. Make a wet spot onto the paper with your finger. Leave the paper for a few minutes and then pick up the piece of paper.
scientific inquiry it's observing over time is the paper wet or dry it's dry what did you do to help get rid of the water the paper towel for drying now if the water is not on the paper where did the water go the water evaporated how can what you observed be helpful to people this helps people to understand evaporation of water from surface and this is a scientific inquiry observing over time now here are a few questions related to the topic if you are able to answer these questions correctly then that's good and if you aren't then please check the video once again to find the definitions of each one of these keywords this is very important so try to answer them correctly the first question is what is evaporation the second is what is water cycle what is precipitation and what do you mean by condensation match the words with their meanings the words are evaporation condensation precipitation water cycle and their meanings are given on the other column here is the correct answer evaporation means a process by which a liquid is transformed into vapor condensation means water which collects as droplets on the cold surface when humid air is in contact with it precipitation means the process behind the condensation of water vapor in the atmosphere that falls down under the influence of gravity water cycles definition is evaporation of water then condensation precipitation and then collection